Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC Wave 5 is out, and that means we have new characters! Alright, you guys know exactly what I'm doing. Wow, Athens Dash looks really nice. So this is a city track, but it doesn't really look like it. It looks like a really unique design. <laughs> we got Wiggler on the Wiggler, doing some wiggling! Alright, let's get going. So, I've never played Mario Kart Tour, so I don't know the track design at all. Oof! That is a very slippery road. So I'm gonna get some items here to see if I can figure out the shortcuts. Oh, look at that. That, that is beautiful. That is just polygons. All right, Nintendo kind of cheaped out on the graphics here. Let's take this little shortcut here. Ooh, that's so fun. Okay, and uh, we're hitting a wall. <laughs> so we go up the stairs here and Oh, we go around here. All right, so we have a few blind tricks here where uh, I'm not sure. Oh, shortcut, shortcut. Oh, that's a big shortcut. That saves a lot of time. All right, where are we going? I'm just here looking for shortcuts and alternate paths because I'm playing this for the first time. I do want to see, like, what are all the things you can do on a track? And I have to really look out here because it's a city track, which means every lap's going to be different. All right, looks like we're going straight here and take this sharp turn. It's it's slippery ground all over the place. Wow, okay. This is really cool. I just want to take it all in real quick. All right, let's continue on with the race. This path is slippery and there are a lot of turns to it. Yeah, I can't even see where I'm going. So this one, you kind of just have to know the track. Oh, shortcut? Okay, that's not really a shortcut. <laughs> all right, we're back in first place. Wiggler on Wiggler. Okay, so this next lap is going to be different. Shortcut! Ooh, I didn't do that properly. Oh, trick? Yeah. Ooh, a few places to trick here. Wow, you can trick off the side there. I thought I messed it up. A lot of item boxes. Coins here. Is that another path? Oh, that is another path. Oh, is this a shortcut? Oh, you can take a shroomless too. That's so cool. Oh, and Wiggler is angry. <laughs> I love this animation. This is my favorite thing about Wiggler being this game, that Wiggler gets like the iconic angry red design when Wiggler gets hit. All right, so this track was pretty cool. There's a decent amount of shortcuts. I really like the design, and it doesn't feel too much like a city track, you know? I feel like city tracks uh, tend to be not very complex, and this one's pretty great. So I accidentally pressed A at the start, but I mean, it, it is Daisy Cruiser. I've seen this before from the GameCube. Uh, this is just a track that I really enjoyed playing on uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. We have the pool here with Goombas now. And uh, interestingly, like unlike the GameCube, there's actually a path on the other side there as well that I could have taken. And you can go into the pool, which uh, I mean, if you pick a combo with like a good underwater speed, I guess you can take advantage of that section. But I mean, it's, it's, it's not much, like you just go in a straight line there. And we have moving tables here and item boxes. Oh, this is awesome. You can always get a double item box here. All right, then after this sharp turn, we have two paths. I'm gonna take the left path first, and uh, we'll see what's the deal with the other side later. But yeah, we're gonna come out of that yellow cannon here if you took the other path. Okay, so let's get a purple mini turbo here. And I'm gonna take the other path this time. Let's take the left path. Is there gonna be any reason to take this path? Cause like, this just seems slower. Like, <laughs> cause look, we're coming at this at such a bad angle. Oh my. Wiggler's angry that that boomerang being thrown backwards didn't actually block the red shell. So it's going to be interesting trying to learn all the lines on these courses, because right now, like, I don't know, is this going to be faster down here? Let's take a look. I can charge a mini turbo. Got a purple. Oh, there's item boxes down here. Okay, I can see why you might take this path then, because back in, uh, on the GameCube version, that path was really, really bad. Like, there was no reason to take that path. Uh, it was, like, way slower than it is here. And here, it, it doesn't seem too bad, you know? There's uh, there's some boost panels at the end to kind of make up for the fact that it's probably slower. Let's take a look at here. Oh, so you don't have to go underwater. You can go around here for some coins. And the other side has coins too. Okay, so at least there's some incentive to not just, you know, drive in a straight line the whole time. That's what I like about the coins, because coins do matter. And I feel like when you're playing casually, you don't notice the speed difference, but they do help you secure better positions and just go faster the whole race, so uh, yeah, I like when there's actually a reason to take all the other paths rather than just like, oh, there's one fastest path and we always take this. I think that's, that's kind of boring. Two coins here, very nice. Alright, so that was Daisy Cruiser. 
Uh, it's a pretty simple track, no shortcuts, but um, I love the aesthetic of it. Oh, Moonview Highway from Mario Kart Wii. Of course, uh, it seems like every wave we need to get a track with cars on it. But one thing I'm really excited to check out here is the bomb cars, because this doesn't exist on other tracks. Like, this is brand new to Moonview Highway. So let's take a look here. Oh, a bomb car. Okay, so you can snipe it and get other people bombed. <laughs> so that's really cool. And... Uh, you obviously have to avoid driving into it because, you know, when you hit cars, it's like, it's pretty bad, but if you hit a bomb car, you get bombed. So I'm gonna try running into the next one that I see. Here we go, here we go. Let's see how this works. Oh, they look so nice. Oh, look, what? I, I got knocked forward. Okay, so this is different. And I, I feel like I spun out for less time. Like, this is... <laughs> uh, this is not the same as a regular bomb, actually. Like, the bomb cars have, have different properties when you get hit. It's very interesting. I guess they're trying to make it less punishing for hitting a bomb car, because yeah, like imagine going around a blind corner or not being able to avoid the bomb car and just getting absolutely screwed out of a good position in the race. So we have alternate paths here on the wall as well. This is something really cool about, about Moonview Highway is you could always drive up these walls, which I don't think any other track has. Yeah, it's not too much of this, but I'm gonna show another path on lap three as well. Okay, and in terms of shortcuts, like, there are some grassy areas there, but it's not really shortcuts. Oh, avoid the bomb! Okay. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so, and then this section, just a bunch of boost panels, which is interesting because it makes M Moonview Highway kind of more of a front-running track, because if you grab mushrooms, like, I have mushrooms right now, but it's not going to do anything in this section because you're going to be going fast anyway. And, like, a star is not going to help as much either. Bullet's not going to help as much. So, yeah, I, I like when tracks, when there are tracks that reward front running. Because I feel like there are a lot of tracks in this game. Like, it's cool when there are shortcuts, but shortcuts often mean that uh, bagging becomes a viable strategy. And sometimes that's just not fun to deal with. But, yeah, we have an extra path up here with double item boxes. Okay, so it's probably going to be a slower path based on that. But you can get a double item box, so in the back is going to be really worth it. Because, look, this item's coming up again so soon. Okay, and a lot of item boxes just floating around here as well. So, yeah, I, I, I really like when there are a lot of items. I feel like in this game, like, you can get double items, but I feel like the number of item sets is, like, not that many. So let's try to win this. <laughs> I'm trying to three-star the GP as well, so uh, let's not get too carried away with exploring. Oh, that was a close race. Let's go Yoshi Wiggler. Doesn't beat Wiggler on Wiggler, though. And finally, we have Squeaky Clean Sprints, the last track of the Feather Cup, and it is a brand new track. It's not from Mario Kart Tour or any of the other Mario Karts, and we're just in a bathroom. I mean, of all the original ideas, I, I, I guess this is really out there. It's very unique, but it's such a strange design. All right, so I'm going to be looking. We have a Bitty Bug Alarm Clock. Uh, where are we going here? We're going into the sink, tricking out of the sink, trick. Oh, we can trick on that. That's so cool. All right, and here, oh, we're going into the bathtub. Can you trick on these? Oh, I, I couldn't make it onto that thing. I'm pretty sure you can trick off of that. Where are we going here? Oh, we're going down. When I watched the trailer, they didn't show this part. I thought we were gonna be going up. There's a double item set right on the left there. Really keeping my eyes peeled for all the cool stuff on this track. Oh, there's a little shortcut here. Not gonna try that shroomless. What, what? That is the slipperiest road I have ever driven on. Like, I don't know. Wait, I'll have to try it again next lap. I don't know if I felt any tracks more slippery than this. Wait a minute. Like, this is really slippery. Oh, jeez. Get me back on the track. Oh, I'm going the other way? That red shell kind of saved me, honestly. I was way out of control. So, when you're about to go into water, instead of tricking, it's often better to just charge a mini turbo. So I think that's what the, the world record's going to be doing. Okay, same thing right here. I'm going to do this. And, and watch this. Oh, what? You can land on the sponges? Okay, there's a lot of stuff you can do here. I have a lot to say. Right here, you probably want to charge a mini turbo as well. Uh, I'm just predicting what the world record will probably do. That's just typically what you do with water sections. All right, I'm going to need to figure out this part. So this is the slippery road, and I have a blooper, which makes me even more slippery. Look at that. I'm just slipping all over the place. Are there any alternate paths here? Like, can we get up there? No, I don't think we can. Okay, so we're just going to come down here. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. This section's kind of hard to drive. Look at that, I'm just going all over the place. I'm really trying my hardest to stay on the road there. 
Okay, th this is actually really fun. I love that section where you can do all the tricks. And then here, I don't think I got my drift out. Trick, trick, trick. <laughs> all right, so there's a little shortcut here. Can we do this shroomless? Oh, that off-road's not even too bad. But yeah, it's probably not faster to do that shroomless. All right, I need to get first place. Thank you, Blue Shell. We're gonna trick off of this thing. Oh, you can go up there. Oh, you have to trick off the water to get up there. Okay, hopefully up there's less slippery path. And so it's actually going to be easier to drive than taking the towel section. I'm, I'm going to have to try that later. All right, Feather Cup, we got a perfect 60, three star. I remember when this used to be challenging, and now I'm just like goofing around and I can still get 60. So that was it for Wiggler on Wiggler. Uh, we have Kamek here as well, and we have PD Piranha. I'm really excited for PD Piranha because he was my favorite character back in Mario Kart Double Dash. So let's see what we're going to put him on. You know what, the bitty buggy is the closest thing I can find to the pipe. All right, time for Cherry Cup. First up, we have Los Angeles Laps. <laughs> what, oil? Is that a Los Angeles thing? All right, <laughs> quick talk right here, like what is this? Why are, why is the road blurry? Did they really cheap out on the graphics? Like, okay, these textures are not too bad, I guess, but like, look at the textures in the distance. Those houses, it's like the houses on Athens Dash. It, <laughs> they, it reminds me of uh, in Wave 1 when people are like, wow, Nintendo really didn't do well with the textures and the graphics, and I don't know, did they kind of cheap out again? Because I'm kind of feeling it again, you know? Like, I feel like Wave 4 was such a good wave, and it's like, Nintendo can do no wrong, but come on, like, this could be... I feel like this could be better. Also, that... that boost panel I just took, do you think I... Wait, I need to try this. I, I, I want to try taking this shortcut, Shroomless, using that panel. I need to do a little more shortcut hunting around here. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go up here. Pop, 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 pop. Oh no, I can't get into the shortcut. There might be a way you can do that. But yeah, cause that boost gives you like a mushroom boost. And so it lets you take shortcuts as if you had a mushroom, but I, I couldn't really get into uh, the shortcut area. Okay, so I'm gonna have to win this race still, but I'm looking around for shortcuts. Thing with city tracks is often there aren't really shortcuts you can take but I I'm looking out for them. There's probably gonna be a few. Although anyone who's played Mario Kart Tour could probably tell me that like, oh, there's no shortcuts on this track or something. Ooh, a stadium? 2D audience? Come on. Come on, Nintendo. You can do better than this. Ooh, shortcut right here. Oh, there's an upward slope before the grass? I wonder if you can do that when Shroomless. I'm just looking for Shroomless shortcuts. I do not care about how the track looks anymore. Like, the textures, whatever. Just give me the shortcuts. Oh, a double boost panel? What is this texture? What is that? That looks so weird. We're on lap three. We're in the oil section. Looks like there's multiple paths you can take here. Okay, oh, there's an another split. There's like a triple split path around here. I, I'm, I'm just gonna have the bullet drive. I need to win this. Wow, okay, we're going backwards through this section. I guess they really want us to know that Los Angeles is all about their oil. Okay, Blue Shell, save me, save me. Oh. Oh, I think you can definitely take that shortcut Shroomless if you had an orange mini turbo. And there's another shortcut here. This is great. This is actually great. For city tracks, because the track changes every lap, actually having shortcuts on lap three, I love it. Because then those are shortcuts that are actually important to do during the race. Sunset Wilds. I have never played this track, but I, I watch a lot of TWD98, and I've seen him play this track, so uh, I've definitely seen this one before. I, I just know there should be a lot of U-turns, and uh, that gets me excited for the potential for Shroomless Shortcuts. Yeah, look at those U-turns. Okay, that one U-turn in the middle. I'm hoping you can take a shortcut Shroomless there. Oh, this road is slippery. I can see a lot of people not liking this one. I feel like when this slippery road, uh, the general consensus for like uh, more casual players is that the track is not quite as fun because oh wait 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 this one oh yeah i think you can definitely do that one shroomless okay i need to uh prep for that one next time because just going into it surprised i actually didn't get a chance to try it oh these these ramps i, I don't think these were here before oh this is a really short track maybe it just felt like it that felt really short all right, so the lines here are probably not going to be very complicated. What is this? What is that? I can't really drift on it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure those things out. Oh, oh, here, 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 here. Oh, so slippery. Okay, but yeah, 
<laughs> I'm gonna try to do it properly on lap three. You can definitely take that one, Shroomless. Yeah, so it looks like there's just off-road all over the place, which means technically any of these corners can be a shortcut. But obviously, like, these big U-turn corners, especially because the road is slippery, it's gonna be so important to... What is this? This is off-road. But anyway, yeah, it's gonna be so important to take these shortcuts with a mushroom. And you know what sucks? I can see this being, uh, like, our bagging track. Okay. Two shocks. Someone dodged in a bullet. I'm going backwards because I want to try the shortcut again. Yeah, you could definitely do it. Oh! I just got assaulted by my own son! Oh no, am I gonna lose? I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Okay, no, 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 the CPUs suck. <laughs> I'm gonna win. It'll be fine. Alright, that was Sunset Wilds. Very simple track, but I'm excited to be able to do some shortcuts on this, because mushrooms are gonna be so busted on this track. Koopa Cave. Oh, I'm excited for this one. This is such a fan favorite from Mario Kart Wii. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm actually just excited seeing all of this stuff recreated in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It, it just feels unreal right now. Wow. This actually looks beautiful. Look at the ground too, it's very high quality with the pebbles. They definitely threw all their budget into this one track. Alright, and it, I feel like it's a bit smaller than it was in Mario Kart Wii. So, can we get mushrooms from these guys? No. Okay. Uh, I was hoping to, to do the Mario Kart Wii strategy where you snipe the Goomba to uh, take the shortcut. Oh, two boxes. Okay, that's really cool. And the water. Yep, water speeds you up. Let's Shortcut! Okay, uh, maybe not. <laughs> I'll try that again for sure. Uh, these are definitely shroomless shortcuts you could do in Mario Kart Wii. Oh, you can trick off of that! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, the camera's kind of weird though. I feel like it's not showing me the road. The one thing I'm very excited to try here is this ending section. I'm gonna drift off of this. Oh, that might be too tight. Can we take this shroomless? Oh, you can! What? Okay, so for those who don't know, in Mario Kart Wii, if you so much as touch that water without a mushroom, you are falling down. So uh, you had to take that with a mushroom. And now I guess you don't have to do that. Let's try this shortcut right here, shroomless. <laughs> okay, that that uh, that looks like a spot you could do a, a little mushroom shortcut, but I don't know about shroomless. And so this might be a shroomless shortcut, and right over here we might have a shroomless shortcut. I'm just, you know, surveying the land. Oh, I just realized there's no zappers in this section. Like the ones that basically shock you and turn you small. Yeah, they replaced it with these things. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Oh, okay, I didn't make it onto the water. There's a green shell up there? That's crazy. They really put a lot of thought into this track. I don't know about the other tracks, but this track, definitely. Let's take this, okay. Let's take this shortcut right here and I wanna take this shortcut, I think this one's gonna be huge. Okay, kinda messed it up, but that's the idea. And... Shortcut? Oh, that off-road is tremendous! It's so hard to get through that. Okay, this one I feel like you should definitely be able to take shroomless. Ooh, messed that up. Okay, another thing in Mario Kart Wii is you can drive up these walls. But here, I don't think you can. Yeah, you just like, it's, it's just a very normal wall here. So that's unfortunate. I felt like that, that was one of the things that makes this pipe really unique, and uh, they kind of got rid of that. But now you can take this ending part shroomless, so that's nice. <laughs> and finally we have Vancouver Velocity. Ooh, a little ice rink? Alright, so we have a nighttime track. This reminds me of New York Minute. What do Vancouver and New York have to do with nighttime? I don't know, let's find out. Alright, we, we have snow, of course, Canada. It's got to be snowy in Canada, of course. They have to get all their stereotypes down. All right, let's see. What do we got here? A bridge. Hmm. And uh, another bridge. Vancouver is all about bridges, and Los Angeles is all about oil. I guess that's uh, what I've learned today. A little glider. All right, gliding across the water because there's no bridge here. Ooh, shortcut, shortcut right here. I don't know if you can do that shroomless, but uh, I like when they add shortcuts to city tracks because otherwise, like, 
almost everything I drove so far has just been like being between two walls. I mean, look, it's happening again. This is I'm just between two walls again. There's nothing to do here but just drive exactly what the track is telling me to do. Can you go in here? No, that's out of bounds. Okay. Yeah, I dodged the blue shell. No, I didn't. All right, I like how there's a lot of trees here. I don't like how they're all exactly the same tree. This looks like Animal Crossing. This is like an Animal Crossing track. Oh, okay, okay, we're going into the arena. Let's see it. 2D crowd! Oh, I, I, I just noticed. What? You can get triple bananas in first? That's not a possible pull online. You can get it against CPUs, I guess. I'm pretty sure, like, I've heard that uh, against CPUs, you can get a different item distribution. All right, so we, uh, bats, all right. All right, Vancouver. So I'm just driving between two walls on a narrow track again. That seems to be the theme of this track. And this time we're taking a different path out of the stadium. We are going this way. I feel like we spend very little time in that stadium. It would be cool if you had to, like, drive a little loop around it, and you can, like, interact with a hockey puck. I think that would be so cool. Uh, but instead, we just, like, kind of enter for literally two seconds. You have no time to see anything, and then you're just out of there. All right, that was DLC Wave 5 tracks. I still haven't tried Kamek, though, so I have to try him. PD Piranha and King Boo, top two. Oh, that brings back memories. So apparently Kamek was supposed to be in a very, very early Mario Kart, but then they just got rid of him because, like, they had to cut the roster or something. So now... <laughs> Kamek's finally arriving like 20 years later. I want to check out their stats. So we have three new characters. Pretty much all I know about them is that uh, these two are in the heavyweight category and Kamek is like a midweight. But I want to see what their stats are like. So on this vehicle, PD Piranha has these stats. I found out that uh, Pink, Gold, Peach, and uh, Mario and Metal Mario, they all have the same stats. Uh, they have these stats, which is the same as PD Piranha. No way, no way, Wiggler, Wiggler. Wiggler has the same stats as Waluigi. Oh, did they, did they do this on purpose? So that means that Wiggler on Wiggler has the same stats as Waluigi Wiggler. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, this is fantastic. Kamek has the same stats as Luigi. And Luigi is a great character. He's like pretty much tied with the optimal characters like Yoshi. So Kamek is actually one of the best characters in the game. Oh, that is so good. This is an optimal combo. Oh, I am so excited. Look at Kamek. Look at his shoes. They're red. That means that I can use red roller tires as well and it will look great. Oh, this definitely counts as color coordinated and the game is going to give me a speed boost because of it. Oh, this combo already feels great. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of squeaky clean sprint. Just to show you guys some of the cool stuff you can probably do on this, that's a purple mini turbo right there. Uh, charge up a little mini turbo right there. And uh, let's try out this shortcut here. Oh, yes. Oh, this feels great. This feels great. This is an optimal combo, guys. Kamek is optimal. Yes. All right, so we're going to try out this thing right here. Oh, the toilet hasn't exploded yet. Okay, maybe I'll have to do that on lap two or lap three. Oh, what was that bounce? Oh, it's not a slippery path. It's the wind from the fan. Oh, I so I thought this was a brand new uh, kind of terrain that was extra slippery, but no, there's just a fan going. That's my biggest fan. Yeah, so I, I slipped so hard there, but okay, let's take a look at this. Yes, okay, the toilet is malfunctioning. We need to call the Mario Brothers to fix it, but for now, uh, we're gonna take this top path, which is not slippery unlike the towels, so this will probably be faster. You could do a little glider vectoring there, dodge a shock with this glider. Oh, you can trick there! Oh, this is so great. This is, I love this track already. You can trick there too. And can we get a little trick there? Oh, yes. There's so much to do on this track. This is amazing. I'm so happy with this. All right, let's try this again. I want to try something really cool. Let's do a little path switch. Oh! There's no way that's faster, but that's so cool. 
Overall, my thoughts on the new DLC is I love the characters. Uh, the track picks are pretty solid too. I just, I was just hoping for a few more shortcuts and maybe some changes to some of the older tracks that would make them more interesting. But Koopa Cape is definitely a standout to me. I mean, I can already see the shortcut potential in several areas. And uh, I mean, that is kind of just what I like in, the, in a track, so I am kind of biased. Now, as for the designs, I do feel like in some areas it looks great, and in some areas it kind of reminds me of DLC Wave 1 again, where the graphics just aren't as good as they could have been. But that's not that important to me, I'm just really excited to get to play new tracks, and uh, I'd love to see how they play online. But now it's time for me to go do the impossible, and memorize the path for three city tracks.